All right, so here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing three time frames in which I'm going to be describing the circumstances. I won't be using any tarot, nor will I be actually visualizing it. I'm just going to be visualizing only the circumstances in which are occurring at the current moment, place, and time, and I'll have the time frames below. And I won't be specific whenever it comes to the messages or which are needing to be really expressed. So I'll just go ahead and be doing that on those two measures. Well, I'll go ahead and just mention what the fuck I just saw whenever I was just taking my break, even though I was actually going to do it during, but now it just fucking happened. So I pretty much saw two fire hydrants and I saw two birds. And one of the fire hydrants, for some reason, was broken underneath the seams a little bit and there's water oozing out. And one of the birds was drinking from that puddle. And then another bird was on the second hydrant in which he was pecking at the fucking thing at the top of it. And so pretty much here's what I got for most of it. And also, uh, to include further, there was a car that whenever it came to that second hydrant thereof, the bird that was pecking at it, the fucking car actually hit that fire hydrant and the, honestly, the fucking bird went bye-bye. So here's what I could say, though, is whenever it comes to work, there could be one person that, uh, or this could be even involved in relationships as well. It could be a mixture of both in which you're with somebody that's either content or prideful, depending on who you are. You could be the bird that's drinking from the puddle, being content with, you know what, there's fucking already water coming out of it. I'd rather drink that than fuck around with the second hydrant and just peck at it until it burst. And so here's what I am going to specify is there's going to be a time in which you, I think you probably do have arguments here and there, either with people of whom you're working with right now and which are aiming, at high, aiming higher than they really should. And they really got caught up in the mixture of that. And let's just say they took advantage of some loopholes of which is called and which you can validate this yourself if you if you have anything that pops in your head, somebody in particular, or even those close to you, then that's more than likely the case that they are involved in some way, shape, or form with this vision, including yourself. Now, depending on who you are, that's going to have to be dependent on you. You could either be the one that's content or be the one that's, you know, probably get fucking hit by the car and then water sprouts out and fucking makes a bird just go, go away. So whenever it comes to relationships, you could be involved with somebody that that aims a little bit too high, uh, especially whenever it concerns to what you're willing to give at the current time frame or what you're willing to give it. And this could be someone you're taking care of. And it could be that they have this sort of, I don't know, just urge to seek more out and which you should be careful around those types, especially if you're with them right now, because they could be seeking other revenues. And I'm not going to be specifying what kind of revenues they are, but it could be just something that's beyond what you are really capable of handling financially. And they could be just planning some elaborate scheme, of which is they think is elaborate, but it's not. And it's just going to cause some stirs and shits that's going to happen within your relationship. So that's the gist of it. Then I say, be careful. And <laughs> if, if you want to, you can warn them about it. If they're definitely those types that are going to be doing that, because there could be a financial, literally fucking shutdown upon those two measures. And who knows? Fucking house may be gone and other shit, and which a lot of things could be sold off. But whenever it comes to business wise or anything of that sort, you could have a boss that's asking to hire too much of you at this time and place. And you could have someone as well that's sick and of which is needing your care, but you're too busy working. And which that boss of which is the one of which is fucking always picking up the second hydrant. Well, that hydrant too, it's always, he's he or she is always nicking at you to always provide upon what you're not capable of giving at that moment whenever it concerns family, especially whenever you're trying to actually use those, actually save that money in order for their treatments. And if that's definitely the case, then go ahead and resonate with that. What other thing can I gather from that vision? And whenever it comes to that car hitting the fire hydrant, you could see a car that 
actually hits a fucking fire hydrant if you're out. And I don't know if there's ever a time in which your car will hit a fire hydrant. I don't think it will. I think you'll just see somebody else's car, uh, which is head against uh, pretty much anything that's red. Just look for that, okay? But that'll be an indicator of which this is going to really be a warning to you. Because if that does happen and you do see that, then this is confirmation that this video is a warning concerning your relationship or concerning your work. And whenever concerns work and they're asking too much of you, and especially if you're not able to tend and aid in personal endeavors, whenever it concerns that one of which you're trying to really fix up, it could be your mother, per se. It could be an elderly in which you're trying to take care of, uh, take care of as well. And you could have a lot on your plate as well. And you could be a, a person that is content, but you do have a lot of people of whom really leech off that contentness, per se. Because whenever it comes to people of whom are content, usually other people would assume that because they're content that they would be very generous. And they would really just fucking go around the fucking ringer with them. It's like, hey, can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? So that's definitely a fine measure in which you got to be on the lookout for. But for some reason, that's being stressed. Whenever it comes to seeing any car or any car wreck that involves a fucking fire hydrant or any other particular object in which looks like a fire hydrant, then this is definitely a warning and really coinciding with the due measures of which you're being warned. So I think that's about it for the first vision, in which I didn't realize that was going to be gifted to me on my brain, but you're welcome. Okay, this is going to be the second uh, pile, per se, and I'm going to be describing the vision of which I'm having right now. I'm seeing three ravens, and I'm seeing, well, this is something which is odd, because they're, they're eating off of a corpse in which only motherfucking, why are those other birds that eat? You know, dead things and shit. I don't know what they're called. But it's it's strange because it's not really affiliated with their nature to eat fucking dead things. So for some reason, I'm seeing three birds, two of whom are pretty much mating. And the one of which is just taking off the scraps of what's pretty much remaining. And so what am I getting from that? I'm getting that you could be someone that really takes really a lot of shit for granted. Whenever it comes to the problems in which you're facing and which you don't like to see. And that could be you eating the fucking shit of which the other birds are eating too. And I'm also getting that there could be, for some reason, an interest. There could be an interest of which is stirring up between you and another. But the thing is, is that there was someone else, of course. But the thing is, is, hmm, is that they're doing the same thing that you're doing. Is that they're pretty much eating the shit of which you're, you're eating. In which they're not evaluating their own fucking problems as well. So whenever it concerns the people of whom you're, or person you're attracted to, it's not exactly a go-to. They're not your go-to. And they shouldn't be. Uh, and whenever it concerns, what else? What else can I get from the vision? <sighs> hmm. Okay. For some reason, I'm seeing another bird, too, that's fucking with their nest. And the two ravens, of which is mating, of course. For some reason, there's another bird that's constantly hovering over their nest. And which is seeing if there's any eggs, of which is laid. And for some reason, there could be a bit of a stalker problem, in which is involved with those two, of which you're... With that person of whom you're interested in, per se... That could be definitely something in which you could be seeing happening. For instance, if you're w with them, all right, and you see any person of which is giving an odd eye towards y'all, now, this is pretty much you as a friend, but this is something in which you could see, is there could be someone either on fucking social media or on real person and which is just giving them a fucking weird and odd eye and it could be a better forewarning. And 
what's funny is that it could actually be somebody of whom is affiliated with their job. It could be someone affiliated with, hmm. Ooh, a fucking daycare center. That's definitely one thing I'm saying as well. Mm, what other thing? But what's funny is that whenever it comes to the Ravens and them mating and all, the fact that they haven't buried anything yet, it could be also representation of a problem that, for some reason, there could be problems of infertility. Whenever it comes to the person what you're interested in, it's like they could actually be trying to have a kid, but they're having problems to. And that you could probably sense this whenever you're around them or you could see it from them whenever it comes to what's going on and just in the, in the interactions. It could be very subtle, but their emotions could be a little bit off, a little bit off kilter. Like they could, you know, put on that fucking big ass smile face, but then secretly you could feel something a little bit going on further down the lines. Is there anything other, other that I can gather from this? Hmm. And I'm saying, hmm. Hmm. I'm saying too, uh, now I'm seeing those birds of which actually eat the fucking dead things that are actually observing the situation at hand. I, I don't feel that this is tangible. I don't feel like these are tangible beings. I think these are, honestly, could be familiarized with you, spirits of which interact with you on a day-to-day -day basis, much you don't know about. But they're talking about just, it's almost like they're making fun of it. It's like they probably sent you, you know, clues as to what the fuck was going on, but you didn't get it and you didn't heed it. And so for some reason, I'm seeing them fucking almost laugh at it and just bickering and bantering each other like fucking pals. I could see it could be some ancestors. That's why I'm saying as well, whenever it comes down to how this fucking ordeal works. You're just going to have to ask me how it works whenever you're done watching this. <clears throat> but other than that, for some reason, those just two birds of which are observing the entire situation unfold. It doesn't seem tangible. They don't seem like tangible people. They do seem like spirits of which are very familiarized with you. And whenever it comes to for some reason, they're telling me that you could you could aim for better, you know, person, and that's what they're telling me, and then they're telling me to tell you to be fucking careful whenever it comes to this one, especially whenever it comes to that fucking stalker shit. It's like they could be a friend, yes. And what's funny is that that person of which you're trying to get together with, they could be fucking teasing you. They could do a lot of teasing and to not give. And which honestly, whenever it comes to me and infidelity, I don't practice it personally, but if, if you wish to fucking do so, then you may, but only if they're willing to give. But I'd say that's about it for this second pile. And if there's any residency or fucking anything in back, hold up, I'm going to see if there's anything I could get in uh, terms of a warning. Oh no, that's the only warning. Okay. So have a good one. And that's it for the second pile for the specified messages of which I got from my vision. Okay, now here's the third, well, vision of which has been acquired. Two armadillos and one fucking tiger. And here's what I'll describe, is whenever it comes to interactions of which I see between the three of them. And here's what I see. I see a leniency of the two armadillos. You know how the armadillos fucking roll up and to themselves and then roll away? Well, that could be a sign of uh, insecurity, especially if you... Now, I don't know if this is you, per se. Honestly, I feel like you're the fucking tiger. But it could be friends of which you're chosen, of which they are a bit insecure and they sort of lean on you, especially whenever it concerns which direction to go. And now there's two variations of the tiger of which I see. I see the one of which hangs out with these people because they he's pretty much sort of the leader of the group. But then I see a second one 
of whom only hangs out with them because they're insecure, and which sort of, I don't know, associates their dominance based on the fact that the others aren't fucking really, you know, including their saying shit, and which you could either be a person which includes other sayings, or you could be a person that just says, you know what, I, I don't want to hear what they want to do. I want to hear what I want to do. And I'm, I'm getting that this is a reproval for you or just not really what the friends of which you got, but just how you treat them per se. I'm getting that it's quite a bit, quite a few of you. Mm. What other thing can I gather from it? And honestly, here's what I'm saying. Now I'm seeing a desert. And the fucking tiger's leading. And the two armadillos, they are just falling without really fucking really pondering on the idea of going out into a desert which has nothing there. And so... I would specify that you, even you have a have problems understanding with where you're going. Even if you're the leader of the group, even you have problems with directions because whenever it comes down to it, you're not really doing it based on mm. Okay, now I'm hearing it. What's a green forest to you is a desert to others. So essentially what that's being specified is this is that your path and the fact that you're trying to get others to get on it with you, it might not be theirs. And now this is for those of whom know their direction. As for those of whom don't know their direction, you're still heading in the fucking desert. And I'd say this is time actually to step away from, well, just trying to act like you're the big, big boy or big girl and shit like that. And actually, you know, reflect a bit more before making any adjustments to what you're trying to do. Hmm. But those two armadillos, they are following along and not really questioning. So it could be a bit of a... Who knows? They could probably lean on you for financial reasons as well. You probably help them out a lot and they feel guilty if they don't come out with you. And I think that's... I don't know if that's the case though. Some of you could probably guilt trip them. I don't think it's all of you, though. In fact, I think most of you just do it because, well, you, you like feeling like the leader. And you don't have any problems with that. So you could either be a boss or you could be someone of whom, you know, goes out and just pays for everything and the trip and shit like that. And they just come along for the ride as passengers. And... They're pretty much stuck in that mode, and who knows, they probably are very, very quiet. <clears throat> I'm getting the sense that one of your friends is definitely the one of which would look out the window if you're driving and not say a damn word, and would just listen to every word you say, or what other people say and not really include anything. <sighs> but here's... The kicker about it is that whenever it comes to the desert, what I'm saying is that whenever it comes to them, per se, it's not their path. And honestly, if you're really going to be the straight shooter on this one, I'd say just go ahead and allow them to have their says here and there, if you're willing, if you're the type of which accepts approval. And if you don't accept approval, then expect setbacks, especially whenever it comes to those sorts of friendships. There could be some that occurs. And I feel like one of them, one of the armadillos, and which heads into the desert, they're not going to like it and be there for long. There could be a really big setback. It could be a really big argument. And which they're just going to say, you know what, I'll just retreat myself back away from this. They probably ain't going to do it through confrontation. They could probably do it through silent treatment and just fucking disappearing off on you. So either it'd be a confrontation or they're just going to disappear literally from your radar and you won't know where the fuck they are. And they'll probably just say fuck it and be solitary for a moment. And which then that's whenever 
they're going to be figuring their own shit out as well. As for the second armadillo, of which is fucking looking to the first and looking to the tiger, he's going to be wondering what the fuck to think. Or she. Who knows? Who would it be? I'm honestly getting that with the second armadillo, this is actually uh, someone of the opposite sex. And much here and there, because of it, it, friends with benefits, maybe. But even the opposite sex is going to be really concerned with the idea of either going with the tiger further on, or pretty much doing what the first armadillo did and fucking just get back and figure out what really needs to be done instead of wanting to be done. So this is a warning to really consider where you're heading and to consider where they should be heading. And other than that, I'd say this is about it for the third pile. Is there any? Okay, I already gifted that. So have a good one. And I think this is a pretty good adjustment as to what could possibly be taking place within y'all by an ass laugh.